Welcome to Shorty Supercoach. Going to take a look at Gold Coast today. Now, they haven't given us too much over the years, and I don't really see that changing this year, but uh, I reckon we've got a one bloke in the breakout category. It used to be a cat that I quite like, but um, if you've been getting around this content, feel free to chuck in a comment. If you think there's something handy the Suns could have to offer this year, normally it's pretty much just youngsters. They feels like they've been rebuilding for about 10 years. That's probably not going to change this time around. We'll take a look at the lock, breakout, risk, and a bloke who's no chance for my side. And, and the lock, well, we couldn't have seen that coming last year. Took Miller, 124. You could have given me that many names before him of blokes I thought would have averaged 120, but there you go. He, he barely put a foot wrong. He was consistent as ever. So he averaged 105 the year before. And here I was talking about Jai Simpkin up in the ante and Josh Kelly up in the ante. And it was Took Miller. Wouldn't have thought it. I've got him in the lock category because it's hard to not respect what he did. But, look, I wouldn't be picking him either. I, I just feel like, you know, he's done it one year. Is it going to change? Not drastically, but, you know, blokes who do it one year, sort of a bit of a amazing season, one out of the hat. Can he keep it going? I'm sure he'll still average really nice, but you're paying a lot of cash now. So there's probably better options. Like, you know, if you're paying that much money, you may as well go um, Clayton Oliver, Jack McRae, Jack Steele. You know, blokes that we've probably got a bit more confidence in. But nonetheless, he was the best thing that came out of Gold Coast by a mile last year. And if we move into the breakout section, the bloke I just mentioned, Charlie Constable. Now, I was a big fan of him when he was at Geelong, but we didn't give him a look at all. Geelong seemed to not want to play anyone who's uh, under 22. But I think he played the three games last year, average 49. So he's going to be a bit awkward. I mean, that's probably the issue. He'll be in the midfield awkwardly priced i mean he'll probably get a little bit of a discount so he will be cheap but probably the major thing is that hugh greenwood has obviously left the suns in pretty awkward fashion it was a bit made of that he's a north melbourne now but two inside mids you know one goes one comes in it just makes sense that he could probably slot in quite nicely to the suns outfit they also lost will Brody. he's at the dockers now um, not that he was really getting a go but they're very similar types i mean Constable's a bloke that had 31 touches in his second game. Now, obviously, he does a bit that uh, the Cats didn't like, whatever that is. I heard bits and pieces about two-way running. He's a bit slow. He's a bit one-dimensional, whatever. But the bloke can find the ball as good as anyone in the state leagues. You know, he'd have 40 touches regularly in the VFL, clearance upon clearance. So he's got to be worth a shot. It will be a touch awkward. I, I haven't looked at the... Uh, I know the team picker is out, but I haven't looked at it just yet. But I would imagine he's you know somewhere around that 220 to 260k mark, I'm guessing. But I want to start him. It'll just depend if I can fit him in there. And just a quick one, potential breakout. But again, we're not going to pick him because it's a bit awkward in the midfield. Noah Anderson, average 83. And, and I probably thought last year he might really smash that up to around your three figures. But didn't quite happen. So I'd like to see him really come out. It could be... A bit of a sneaky one for your draft side. And the risk is Matt Rowell. And he was a guy that turned out to be a massive risk last year. A lot of hype coming into the year about what he did the year prior. Four tons and then got injured. And everyone thought, gee, this bloke, a bit underpriced. I think he's about 500k. Really good buy. Goes down in like the first 20 minutes or something of the season. Scores six and put a hole in a lot of people's sides straight away. So... That means he's going to be nicely priced. Last year, he played the 12 games, averaged 63. And, of course, we all know the way he started 2020, just blistering form, four tons. There was one absolutely massive one in there as a as a cricket bat somehow falls onto me. But I think he's probably a guy that has massive upside. But, again, I talk about Constable being sort of awkwardly priced. He's going to be real awkward. And particularly in the pure midfield, I guess you just got to ask yourself, what can he average and does it justify me picking him? I mean, he's he's still a young guy. I was reading an article dominating the match sim. He's still a, he's only played like the 15, 16, 17 games. And he's been injured twice already, long-term injuries in those times. So can he hold up to the rigours of AFL consistently? I, I would imagine he would, but there's got to be a slight bit of risk. Does it weigh up? against the reward that you could get for a bloke who's priced where he will be. I could definitely see him averaging 90 plus. There's no doubt about that. But again, it, it is a bit awkward. He'll be nicely priced. That's one we're probably just going to have to monitor. And a bloke who's no chance for my side, and 
I feel like he would be a big chance for our side in coming years, but at the moment, I just need to see it, and that's Jack Lukosius. We just always talk about his beautiful right boot and his lovely intercept marking and this and that, but we haven't really seen it consistently or at least not equate to some good numbers. So he's averaged 80 the last two years. And I feel like both years we probably thought he might do slightly better, particularly last year. I think he probably plateaued a touch. And I mentioned that match sim the other day or just a bit of a contested hit out at the Suns. And he was actually lining up in the forward line. So there is a bit of debate whether he does play forward or back. I mean, for me, it seems obvious. Good ball users in the back half are crucial. And he's one of those. And he can intercept Mark. So it seems straightforward for me, but... Maybe the Suns are just playing a few things around, trying a couple of bits and pieces. But I think he's a defender, but he's no chance for my side at the moment. Let's face it, there's a lot of Suns that are a chance for my side because they're not offering too much. A couple of draftees, you know, often the Suns, being young, can blood some draftees. But, you know, Mac Andrew, I think he's just such a raw talent. I couldn't see us starting him. And then, you know, obviously we're going to have to wait and see what the preseason offers us for some other youngsters. But... There will be opportunities for some young guys at the Suns to show themselves and get a chance. If you've got any, please let me know. But um, that's about all i got for us today. There's a few guys in there. There's definitely opportunity. I think Constable's the guy. He's probably the most relevant one for Supercoach at the moment. Um, but hey, if I've missed one, let me know. I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.